Oh, this is Power here with a review of the Kamara Revice DX Holy Wing Vice Stand. So here's our annual secondary rider power up. It's actually the first time since. Uh. I'm not counting X Aid. Nor Ghost, because Houdini technically counted. Uh. Not Drive. So let's just say Wizard, since the secondary rider got a power up with it, like, really late. <laughs> also, because typically for the, like, not typically. Geo! Yeah, that's an example! Um, so this is the first time in a while that, like, the secondary rider got a power-up, like, his first power-up within the third quarter and such. And as you can see right here, uh, this is only for live and not for evil, because obviously, most likely, evils is going to be a V-Cinema, or V-Next, or Premium Bandai. So here we have coming out live Power Rider Holy Live, uh, not um, Holy Genome. Obviously, we got the Holy Live Vice Stamp, Holy Wing Vice Stamp, which is pretty impressive. Sadly, it's just a render of the form. Uh, just shows the Vice Stamp right here. And again, the same portrait shows the Vice Stamp and the two side driver, or the live gun. Just like Hoju Senki, this is in a rectangular box. And all the functionality. So here we have the Holy Wing Vice Stamp out of the box. And yeah, this one's definitely excessively large because of the wing aspect. Really, it's just like the same typical size of these Vice Stamps. But this one, I had to accommodate for this wing. Speaking of the wing, um, surprisingly, the... The animal isn't actually specified, and this is actually the first, like, power-up vice stamp that isn't just derived off of a animal that already exists, like our previous revice power-ups that have just been a T-Rex. This one, again, because it's not obvious what it's supposed to be, I think it's a bird, obviously, but I think it's supposed to be a dove specifically, and I didn't even realize this, but Holy Live is actually in the back. But, like, you can barely make it out because it's just only the one side. So, I don't know if it's, like, a frontal perspective or, like, a side profile. But the fact they actually incorporated that is actually cool. Um, other than that, the color, like, you know, besides the clear pearlescent, uh, translucent, pliable plastic. Like, I really do like this. And I really do like this peach. Not peach, but, like, this... <sighs> See, I don't even know what to describe this color. <laughs> like, I always forget what this like this tone of color is because this is rarely used, and I really like it. Um, for the most part, like the vice stamp is this like uh interesting shape. It's at least a stamp, <laughs> but like you know, to follow alive, obviously we got the teal green and such. Here's the magnet for Hoi wing obviously the shape of the bird is present <laughs> and then obviously we got two buttons right here the activation button because you, you hold it like so and then you got the trigger button right here to put down the wing to which um here you get the inside of the vice stamp to which you get this gold trim like so and then you get a barrel section which is pretty neat then you got the actual full wing, like so. And then you got a clip there, so then you can slot the wing, like so. Last but not least, uh, just like Bard Rex, the speakers are on the back. I did not even realize they actually replicated this. That's actually cool. And then the QR code for Gomber Rising. Please focus. Again, just a power boost to your character. And now for the sounds. Let me do that again for so that you can actually see the LED. 
So it's a light, a green color, which is neat. And the stamping sound. Obviously, that's different. So, again, I'll open it up so then you can actually see the LEDs. It's based on the perspective, like, on how you're holding it. Obviously, you have it straight, then it will just drop down. But, you know. So, again, the LEDs. Yeah, the thing is that, just like the Force Riser, there's no, like, clear uh, plastic to cover it. Because, obviously, it's relying on this thing covering the LEDs, but... I will say it's at least not as blinding as the Force Riser, or the Rube Gyro especially. Like, the Rube Gyro has a clear, like, plastic covering the LED. And yet, that's the most blinding one. But anyways, let's use this and everything. I apologize for the really far perspective we have to do this at, but it's because of this thing. So, obviously, I'm set this in the uh, evil blade mode because that's technically how Daichi transforms annoyingly <laughs> so obviously you activate those like normal then we get to still can do the confirming because they actually still acknowledge it I love that so much slot it in and then switch it right away so obviously we get a new standby instead of the Eeny Miny Mo. We get Wing 2 Fly. Obviously, pull this out. Now, you want to press this down. Move this up. So, obviously, the standby continues until you press the trigger. So there we get the transformation of Holy Live, which I really do like it overall. I really do like how it's like, again, a more evolved version of Live's transformation. Because it makes, you know, makes a lot of sense. Because, you know, Live is a lot more upbeat and such. And now here they went with a more angelic uh, sounding due to obviously the obvious angel dove theming and such. And... With this now, we actually have a full, like, a full version of the live gun, which this, like, th I really like this overall. The fact that they had this plan from the beginning is really cool. Because <laughs> now you got the barrel here, you got the, technically what would be the, like, I guess revolver <laughs> thing. Like, this is really cool overall that they had this plan from the beginning. And then, obviously, the blasting sounds are still the same. And obviously, we have our, we have our typical Hisatshonin. Hisatshonin! Now we got a more upbeat rendition of the finisher, standby. Transformation standby meant. And now we actually do have an additional finisher, which I will demonstrate by sliding this back into the buckle. You don't need to, but this is how he did it, first of all, and honestly how I prefer to do it. So you want to fold the wing back to the vice stamp to initiate the wing charge. And then you want to press the trigger back. And then you want to press the trigger. So now you get the winning justice finale. <laughs> now that's all you can really do with this. However, there is a evil blade mode. It's not really much. <laughs> God. Gosh darn it. That's too fun to do. I should probably state, obviously, 
when you switch it, it'll just, it's only the one standby because obviously this is locked to live. However, when you transform with the evil blade, Instead of holy up, it says winning up, which is interesting. I don't know why this is kind of delayed. And also, you don't need to flip this down to transform and such. But yeah, um, other than that, the finishers are the exact same. Revice driver compatibility. Actually, move that up a bit. As you can hear, it's the exact same standby. So yeah, disappointingly, it's the exact same transformation. They didn't bother doing a revised driver version. I don't get it. At least we have our first vice stamp to actually go through the seven LED colors. <laughs> and also, like, like, this does look neat. That's all the same. Obviously, it's just that uh, all the sounds that typically be this sound is used to the lever. That's what it's called. This is called a lever. <laughs> you can do the remix. Remix. Which obviously for the power-ups is just another finisher. So, I'll just say for all of these devices, it doesn't really matter if it's up and down or not, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Because I forgot I have to do this, because this is already running too long. How did I do that? <laughs> Yabba yabba. Alright, Demon's Driver. Um, this is, I think, what you expect it to be. <laughs> yep. Because it's a power-up, it's considered extra. Libra driver. You can't restyle. So this literally functions like Bard Rex, where you can't can't access love code phrases, nor you can he sat shonen. So we only have the one finisher. At least, again, like I like the 7 LED here. Man, a weapon rush. Woohoo. Let me move this up. At 
At least you can see the LEDs from there. Was Bat actually using the Onit Buster 50? Because he gave it to Daichi, didn't he? <laughs> I just remembered that. Just from skimming. Like, just look how this glows through. <laughs> That's what I really like about this one. I just really like how they managed to get this to shine through the entire, like, wing. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Last but not least, go into phone. Yeah, for some reason, it's the same one as this. They programmed this one to get the same phrase as Bard Rex, which doesn't make sense because it's not. This is not a revise vice stamp. Oh well. But yeah, um overall my thoughts on Holy Wing. I like it overall. <laughs> I think definitely form wise, I prefer it a lot more than like Bat Genome of Live. I never had an issue with Bat Genome Live. It's just that I feel like Jackal feels a lot more balanced. And I feel like I feel like they should have just switched the forms personally because I feel like my issue with live bat genome was that it was kind of too bulky for like a base form which is really contradicting but I don't know just something about like the normal bat genome for live would just was really off-putting but for holy holy live like they did carry the same design but just made it like I feel like for a Holy Wives jing jingle uh, suit, they like definitely streamlined uh, Bat Genome a lot more and made it work. But the Vice Stamp itself, I think it's fun for the most part. Again, I think the only downside to this is just the Revice Driver functionality. I don't like the fact that you just couldn't do another jingle for like within the revice driver but other than that like the functionality with this within the two side driver is really fun using this with all the other devices is just kind of like it's a power up item so obviously it's not going to do as much because obviously in the demons driver it only gives you the extra to which i should probably state obviously it's not the same all the power ups as of like now like, besides Bard and Rowan, are programmed under their own, like, they have their own coding. No, they have their own, uh, I'll just say serial number, because obviously they produce different LEDs. So, basically, um, this one, I do like, because... Definitely it's on par with Hoju Senki, because I don't know, secondary writers recently always had like good power-up forms. But um one of the positive things I actually want to bring up is just how this one is not so stupidly expensive. Despite being a third quarter item. Because typically these secondary writer power-ups like Rampage and Hoju Senki have been stupidly hard to obtain. Like, again, Hoju Senki had to get for it $50 off of Makari. Luckily, I was able just to get this off of Mandaraki for $28. Like, that, that's amazing. <laughs> so, obviously, as the date of filming, like, the late June, I don't think that's the case anymore, but if that is, but if it's still available, go get it before it becomes difficult. <laughs> Other than that, um... I do recommend it overall. Like, this is a pretty 
cool vice stamp. It again, it's actually refreshing to actually have a vice stamp that isn't for a revi or a, for a revise, but also, you know, I think it's cool. <laughs> I'm kind of just like with this entire batch of videos, I have not known what to say for this. I guess that's what I get for not watching the shows anymore and only following the toy line. This is. I'll have to do this review. This is Power and I'll leave you people. Bye.